it's Adriana, and this is my review of Stories We Tell. <music> Stories We Tell is Sarah Pauly's new documentary, which has our, it's been out for a while, but really played in this kind of limited release, and I had been meaning to see it forever, ever since I heard about it being at Venice, which was so long ago. And then it came to TIFF, and it was completely, you know, impossible to get tickets for, even though I was dying to see it so bad, because I love Sarah Pauly. She's one of those people that I admire. She's really someone that, I don't, I wouldn't say I aspire to be her, because I'm not really an aspiring actress or director, but if I was, she'd definitely be one of my idols. She's an amazing amazing actress and now an incredible filmmaker she just really understands like human emotion and the kind of things that she covers in her films are just so so beautiful but stories we tell is a very personal film because it's a documentary about her family and i it's hard to really talk too much about it without spoiling it so i'm definitely not going to spoil the film for anybody so stories we tell Basically, the idea behind it is um, how a family, how different people in a family can have one situation that has happened affect them in each different ways and the ways that they see things differently and uh, the repercussions of certain actions within a family and just really interesting stuff. It really makes you think about yourself, your life, your own family. What do you know about your own family? What don't you know about your own family? the secrets that are concealed, and this film is so good. It is such a good movie, and for a documentary, I mean, I never really watched documentaries, and I wouldn't even, this is not a normal documentary. It's very much a narrative, and it very much just feels so, like, so engaging, not boring for one second. I was completely, completely taken in by this film. I, I loved it. It was so good. And the way she's done it, like, I never really notice editing, but in this case I do, because she's interviewed different people in her family, and they're each, they're telling the story, and it, it's told kind of, like, in a linear fashion, and certain things arise that are surprising and stuff, and the way she pieced it together was so perfect. I mean, it just really, it's like a story. She's telling a story in this documentary. One of the things in the movie, actually, that the, her father says it, is that had anyone else had the same um, amount of footage that she had because she'd been filming everybody and stuff. Anyone else would maybe piece it together differently or take certain parts differently. And it's just really about like our own inter our own interpretations of things and the way we want to tell something and the way we want to convey ourselves and our stories. And uh, yeah, as I said, it's hard to talk about without without spoiling. So I can't say too much in this review about anything. But I will say that it is really touching and really interesting documentary, especially if you like Sarah Polly because it's about her life. It's that much more interesting. But even if you don't, it's just a really great story about a family and something, an event in one family. And it can be so relatable to you if you've ever experienced something like it or have ever wondered about your family. And, oh such a good movie. Um, I'm giving this 10, 9.5 to 10 out of 10. It's definitely in my top 10 for this year. I haven't officially made my top 10 for the year yet because I still have a few more movies that I want to see that I feel like would get into my top 10 if I do get around to seeing them. But right now this one is hovering, I think, towards the upper half of the top 10. So it's definitely there. Funny moments, sad moments, shocking moments, um, and just really... Because it's real, because you're dealing with real people and real emotions and really seeing the way that something affects these people, it just makes it so much more, so much more human, so much more understand, so much more um, easy to connect to and so authentic and so interesting. It's so interesting. So uh, yeah, stories we tell. If you do get a chance to see it, I know it's probably hard to find, but I'm sure it'll be out soon and accessible to others. That's my review of Stories We Tell. Thank you for watching. If you have seen the movie, I would love to talk to somebody about it because I'm sure not that many people have seen it. And if you haven't, 
then please find a way to watch it because it is a really great film. And I wish it got more attention and more recognition other than its little little buzz at TIFF. But anyways, thanks so much.